Hey, so my G Fuel code currently gets you 30% off your entire order for the next couple days only. So go ahead and use code Hayden at checkout. It's a great time to try it if you've never had it before, or if you're trying to restock, get yourself some uh, solid deals. All right, so we got some changes to the team. Uh, just some, some minor stuff. We decided to go with um, Imprison, Trick Room, and Didi because this team does not enjoy Trick Room teams. Uh, so that should be pretty nice. Other than that, we have now Bulky Excadrill with the weakness policy. So this team generally got the same idea, but we are here with, uh, with I think, a little bit of an upgrade. Shout out to my boy Gary, a.k.a. GE. Looked it up with uh, some changes there. So we're going to hit up some, some ranked. Oh, we're playing against Jesus. Uh-oh. And he's got the Duraludon. Also, the Sableye is extremely scary. Chandelure. Also, haven't seen a Haxorus yet. That's interesting. But the Gyarados, big threats. Okay, so if they go Duraludon, we're probably just going to have the Kitty Mystic Fire. That's kind of best way to nerf that thing. Got to bring the Excadrill because of the Duraludon. And also because this Excadrill is clutch as hell. And then let's see what do we want on the last. What if they go Haxorus, man? We're gonna go Sylveon. I really like these four. Jesus would bring a Duraludon. Yeah, Jesus with the smiley face. <laughs> this guy really included the smiley face on his in-game character's name. So, let's see. They're gonna lead... I always expect Whimsicott, Duraludon, but also there's freaking... Save lies kind of annoying. I haven't really got hit with any quash shenanigans, but I've seen those those running around, which is an interesting move. But it's kind of just there for Will-O-Wisp stuff. But uh, it can't use Prankster in the Psychic Terrain, which is cool. So let's see. Are you bringing it right down to the timer? What's up, Johnny? So please don't lead with the Duraludon, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Because we'll need to save the Dynamax for the Excadrill. And if we get some special attack drops on that thing, we'll be okay. But we're still spooked. Chandelure Whimsicott. So, expecting the Chandelure to potentially just go for an Imprison and the Whimsicott Tailwinds. Which actually puts us uh, in a kind of bad position because then they have, the upper, they have the upper hand on speed. Um... So yeah, the Chandelure might just want to go for the Shadow Ball off on the Drift Blind, but with that boost, we're all right. Let's uh, oh, do I just go for the double damage here? I kind of think I want to just go for the double damage. We're we gonna fire that Whimsicott, and let's just go for the double damage on the Chandelure. Whimsicott's going to get hit pretty hard. They're not expecting the Ndidi to be offensive. Whimsicott does just Tailwind. That's annoying. If the Chandelure does not imprison, it's going to Heat Wave. And Ndidi avoids it. Didn't get the double avoid. <laughs> Drifloon takes so much from that. Okay, that was a crit. My god. I should have heard it. <laughs> so, big Shadow Ball, break potential Sashes. And then we do get the Mystical Fire. So we could just go for the Trick Room here, which would be really nice. Actually, we're just able to knock out that Winsicott, too. So they've got the Tailwind up. Um, and Didi takes an attack, luckily, because we avoided that Heat Wave. So we could, um... We kind of need to get the Trick Room up. But... Depends on what they're going into. They're going into the Gyarados. Okay. Gyarados in the Trick Room, super scary, or you know, Tailwind, let's go for our Trick Room here, try to get that up. This Gyarados, I'm assuming, is just going to max and be able to knock me out though, which kind of sucks. We also just have to click Will-O-Wisp off on this thing. I'm assuming the Chandelure has Trick Room as well, so we could negate it if it is able to get it up. Goes for the Heat Wave. Drifblim lives that one, does over half to Ndidi though. We do get the Wisp off on the Gyarados, still we're able to outspeed with the Unburden. 
Tailwind Gyarados, that shows that this thing is likely... Oh, it just crunches in DD. No. That shows it's a slower, bulkier Gyarados. So we're not able to get up our Trick Room, which really sucks. And Gyarados gets the Moxie. But we have it burnt, which is which is great. It's always great news. I kind of want to go Sylveon here and, and just save the Excadrill. Drifblum goes down, though. Little Stifler69 with the Twitch Prime sub. Yo, thank you very much, man. He's not going to want to Dynamax his Gyarados. Uh, fuck. I think we need to go into Sylveon. Not being able to get up the TR. It's in a bad position here. Man. We have two turns of the Tailwind. Which is nice. We are just going to click Hyper Voice. I think we just click Hyper Hyper Voice here. Try to strength sap the Gyarados, but we get outsped by the Chandelure. But potential Heat Wave miss, or if it just decides to target Sylveon, who knows? They are gonna Dynamax actually. Nope, just kidding. That was there's a little bit of lag. Heat Wave does unfortunately hit the Drift Blim, and we get burnt with the Sylveon. Hello? Not the Blimp. We needed that strength sap would have been clean. And then this waterfall. Still actually hurts even though it's burnt because it got that moxie boost and it's going to get another one once it knocks something else out. The hyper voice does kill the chandelier though. And we both still have the dynamax intact so. Being able to get the burn on the Gyarados is huge though. We could protect Sylveon this next turn because he's going to want to try to pick that thing off. But let's bring in the drill or they try to get the water damage off on Excadrill which gives us the weakness policy and it's going to be the Haxorus. Oh lord. So the Haxorus Dynamaxes and Max Quakes against Excadrill. And boy, does that hurt. So the Black Haxorus comes in. Oh man, not able to get a quick attack up because of the Psychic Terrain. Which is up for two more turns, so I'm not going to be able to get that off of Sylveon. Doesn't really matter, I guess. But now is when we... I think we just tried the max guard. We're gonna go for the double protect here. No, I don't think the max guard even matters actually. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can do it here. The Sylveon took too much damage. The Haxorus in the back is worst case scenario. Neither they're gonna bring this damn thing though. My oh boy looking badass. So yeah, big hacks. If we were able to get the trick room up. But we do have the thick drill out here. Haxorus just hits way too hard though. for the Wormwind, actually. Nice to not give me a weakness policy, but we take a Wormwind easily. Does the Gyarados Waterfall on the Excadrill, though? Just drops my attack, that's why he clicked Wormwind. Mm, just Waterfalls to Sylveon. I don't think we've got enough here. Steel Spike does <laughs> nothing sad so he can just click wormwind until my attack is to the point where so the tailwind goes away and so he's probably gonna want to get rid of the sylveon or else he takes a big hyper voice so that gives us time to attack it with drill but we're still not gonna be able to get enough on it we're gonna hyper voice and we are going to... We're going to Steel Spike again, because we need the defense. 
But if Excadrill could get the weakness policy, you know, at least that was bad. Okay, so he is going to Steel Spike. Going to be on the Sylveon. So Excadrill takes a Waterfall from Gyarados here, which gives us weak gives us weakness policy. And that's kind of nice. Erhamagerd just subscribed. Eight months. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. So it takes some Life Orb damage. And we do get another defense boost from the Steel Spike. So we break that thing down to below half. And let's just hope that the Gyarados goes and clicks Waterfall. He does. Burn Gyra. We take that nice. Gives us that policy. The good news is we know we outspeed the Gyarados. But we have to just go for another Steel Spike to get more defense. So the weakness policy... Pretty clutch. Switch from Focus Sash Excadrill to Weakness Policy. Goes for a Max Knuckle. So we eating that up with them defense boosts. And we get one more too. So this is when uh, taking advantage of the stat boosts. He's nice with the Dynamax. That Steel Spike does kill the Haxorus. And look at the Excadrill. Coming in clutch. We'll get one last defense boost just for good measure because now it's just us against the Gyarados. And, um. Able to live the waterfall. But. It comes down to. Hitting the rock slide. Which. Uh, it's just always, always a bummer. You know what? We were going to miss that rock slide. <laughs> so we click protect. Give him one more turn of burn damage. Let Excadrill really set his sights in on this rock slide. He's really just focused in right now. Excadrill, you see the red target. You just gotta hit this rock slide. <laughs> oh, thank God, we do connect. <laughs> right. So the drill. I was able to do it mostly because we clicked Steel Spike three times for the defense boost, so. We defeated Jesus. Sorry to do it to you, buddy. But, uh, you know, it had, it had to be done. So that was a good one. That was... That was definitely scary. Will-O-Wisp was super nice on the Gyarados. Really kind of saved our lives there. Thank you for the bottle of iron. Not too sure. My butthole was a decimal for that instant. 